explain us how this Joule platform works. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, um, right now you see the overview of the contracts that um, have already been done. Now I want to create a new contract. That's why I'm clicking on the button, new smart legal contract. Then I already see my wallet address. I can also enter my name um, and my email address. Both are optional. So I will enter my email address and also my name because it just happened automatically. <laughs> and um, then I will um, enter the address of the receiver, in this case, Stefan's address and Stefan's name and Stefan's email address. I click on the button and then I can choose a name. So I will just use a test name, test agreement test. Uh, yeah. for car purchase. Um, yeah, I can select a category. In this case, I would probably select other, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, then I can choose a duration. For example, seven days. Um, I will be the one paying. So Stefan and I agreed on 5,000 true token. It's a very cheap car. And yeah, we will not have a penalty fee. And then we can enter key performance indicators. For example, Stefan will hand over the car keys. Yes, let's keep it simple. And resolution proof will be a link to a photo. And we will, we can upload a file. Yeah, I will just use the same file. Yeah, and I guess that's it. So now I click on save. And then on send to counterparty. Then I have a little info and I click on OK. Then the pop up opens and I can check the transaction and then I can confirm it. And then I wait. Yes, so now Stefan should see the contract in his contract overview. And I will hand over to Stefan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now Daniela created the contract. I automatically got the notification. Test agreement for the car purchase, duration seven days. Contract value is 5,000 Jure token. I click on the contract and I see the, the payment, duration, and key performance indicators. Like I will hand over the car keys and then the sale is complete. Now I can either reject the proposal or I can accept. Here you can also see the PDF she has attached. You can look at it. Yeah. So I, of course, accept her proposal. I accept that I'm accepting the contract. 
Okay. Okay. Then, yeah. um, okay, I will share the screen again. So my UI has automatically updated and now I see a payment button. And when I click the payment button, another pop-up opens. And then I can confirm the transaction. And then I have a dispute and success button and Stefan now sees the same UI. And okay, can we show mine? We can. Okay. <laughs> you just have to believe. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> Okay, now I can either dispute, which makes no sense in this case, or I can agree to the success of the contract. And this sends a message to the counterparty that I'm closing the contract and agree with it. <laughs> 